I think I may have found the smallest fuel station in the world. This, I didn't place this, this naturally grew. Hey guys, you're watching, you want and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Look at that. It's just, how do you, you just pay at the machine? I know it's not unheard of, but I find that a little bit weird. I've never seen that before. Now, I need to delete these trees because uh, I forgot that I wanted a market stall in here. That's sort of the whole reason why I ended up moving all those buildings. Uh, how big are these? They're pretty good size. I would love it if I could get some kind of concrete path to go down here. Like, how would I uh, take it off the snap? And you know what? Let's just see what it does with the road. Like, if I just put this down. I don't mind having the sand gap in the middle if, if, if it's necessary. But I don't want the concrete being seen on this side. So I'm going to try and cover up all of the grass areas by doing something like that. And that one there. Now, if I could get another path down here, that would be amazing. Uh, okay, that didn't seem to go so bad. Uh, on. Okay, no, off. I want it just... Ooh, oh my god, no. What did I do? Okay, it doesn't look like I can do that. So I might still be able to get some uh, trees down there if necessary. But what we'll do is we'll just put on the uh, market stuff on here. So it looks like, what are these? Oh, fruit stands, yep. Fruit stand, fruit stand. So it's, there's not too much going on here. But we'll have a uh, little dot. Need to turn that on. There we go. And then I can place on top of these paths here. Now, what way are they meant to face? Doesn't really matter by the look. So we'll have... Do these change colours? No, that's a shame. That would be cool if they changed colours. We'll have another couple of them down here. I think if I just, like, rotate them and spread them out, it won't be that easy to tell that there's only, like, two or three of them. Yeah, see, this is cool. There. That one and that one. Uh... We had a little tiny. That's so cool, look. This is how it is every, I think it's every Thursday in this town. Uh, they have a market, every Thursday and Sunday, maybe they have a market day. Sell fruit and veg and just random stuff. I don't really go to it, obviously. It's not my kind of thing. Uh, street lamp. Oh, another fruit, sa fruit salad stand. I thought that said fruit stand. It's a fruit salad stand. This one with a blue top on it, so we've got red, yellow, and blue. Right, turn these to face as many ways as we can. I don't have any yellow ones up that way either. Should really try and utilize them, like squeeze in as many as I can down here. Like this. Some more red ones. Squeeze them in. I think that looks smart. I think that looks really smart. And a blue one. Okay. Any more? Anything else like that? That would be cool if there was more of this kind of stuff. Uh, parking signs. Oh, there's parking space. Spaces there. Uh, a little tea bench. These would be nice down here too. It's meant to be like the main part of this little town so you want a lot of um, pedestrian friendly things bus stations eventually uh, that kind of stuff public toilets it's always annoying when you're out in the middle of a town and there's no nowhere to go to the toilet if you need you have to go into a shop or something like that that really sucks I did see a public toilet as well oh telephone booths yes perfect for this kind of spot look a couple of telephone I'll have three of them Perfect. That's exactly the kind of thing that we want. Uh, bicycle stands. Yes. 
100%. Turn and get them roughly straight. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely, like, exactly what we want. Barricade. These are pretty useful, too. If we can get these on a little... Yeah, it's just something, maybe just like dividing them by one in some spaces. That would be nice. Uh, yeah, see that looks pretty smart. It just like divides up each each of its own areas. And that one. I think this is from the rally set that I've got in here somewhere. And there's like rally cars and all that. They don't move, you just sort of make a, a standing look. And we do have the actual vanilla cars as well, uh, as like normal ones, but the actual cars use these spaces, as you can see, they actually park in them. So if I put prop cars in there, like cars that I've placed, I don't know what would really happen. <gasps> How do these look? Oh, I'd like to have some of these in here too. Oh, they change colour. Nice. I should really have some open ones. Yeah, it looks like a little bustling little area. What's this, a bus board? DSB, no, I don't want that. I say Winnebago. Food truck, exactly what we need. Get a burger while on the market, get something to eat while you're looking around. Well, I'm just one of those, I think. Yeah, look, little rally gate here. I knew I had them about. Jersey barrier. No, I don't need any trailers or anything like that. Uh, having some cars down here wouldn't be a bad idea, though. Pallet pile. Like having some, some props placed on this side? No. Hmm, maybe. So you get some of these in. Uh, uh, uh. It's always good to hover over these ones that you're not quite sure. Two-lane security barrier closed. Ah! I knew we had an open one. Tent. Oh, that'd be cool for a, a campsite, maybe. Two-lane security barrier. Yeah, there's one open. So we can have closed ones. Trouble is, if we put them as a road and we put that barrier on them, the cars are just going to drive through them anyway. They're not going to care. Uh, a bus prop. Ooh. See, that'd be cool. To, uh, we could actually make a, a little bus depot. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and fuel tanker. That's pretty cool. What are these? dog park sign it's not a dog park dog agility course yes we need to do one of those taxis police cars so when we do the police station uh, and we do it up properly we'll be able to do that uh fountains not the kind of place for fountains okay that should be good for the moment of stuff i don't think there's really anything more in here i do have some decals but uh i'm always concerned about using decals because they seem to break quite often see that would be a giveaway like that uh, you can just we could just remove the lines as well because these this should be like right up the top here you don't technically need the lines to tell you what way to go in a junction like this um, arrow lane changer see I don't I don't know if it means that I can't turn left and right here now or if it's just the see it's just the arrows I think because why would you go forward if I take that off I should then be able to put that here and here just get they, they meant to be give way it's give way logo but are they actually going to use it now we'll find out it looks like it did but I think if he was already in here he wouldn't have not anyway why are you stopped? Are you parked there? That's a terrible place to park. What, an, what, a, what a silly guy. There you go. Just wanted to get rid of that thing that I was having in my hands. Now, these seagulls... ...are... ...usually because of poop. If there's a lot of poop in the area, seagulls usually flock around that area. But they're not complaining about poop, so I don't really know what the problem is on those guys. Let's get those trees back in here. Uh, they look a little bit big now. I could get some nice bushes. What does it look like on this side? See, that's that's a nice tree. Oops. Let's try it. 
How do they look? Do they? Yeah, they look okay. They look. They, I went for these because the trunks are tall enough that they don't. Uh, the leaves don't like hit the tops of these market stalls. I think that looks really neat, right? Really, really neat. Uh, we've got parking on the other side for the market as well. Uh, and people do park down here because they're idiots in real life as well. There's loads of parking spaces and yet they always park there. Uh, who, who am I to complain? Who am I to complain? All right. Uh, how's this school getting on? Does it say anything? Not operating normally? Oh, that's the university. High school. Modern high school. Track and field. Elementary school. So we've got like all the types of schools all in one. I mean, it could be a good idea. 200, uh, 298 out of 300 pupils here? 252 out of 1,000. 242 out of 1,500. There's already 208 people at the university. 209. Whenever I, when I played this last time, I could never get people going to the university. Never. Eight people that have visited the track. Three and two on the tennis courts. Oh, that's pretty cool then. Uh, I like how they're... It's good that we actually done all these roads how we did them because uh, this is actually good. this has actually one of each school that we need, so it's pretty perfect. Can people visit this one? Visit is zero. Simple plop anywhere football field. I don't know if we'll ever get any visitors to this one because I don't know if it's not technically connected to a road, is it? Technically, we have we don't have any goalposts. <laughs> Goal? Post? Any type of post? Triple lamp post? That's not quite what I was talking about. Uh, net? What is that? Uh, football. No, just a pitch. Okay, I need to download him. A, a, a skull prop because uh, <laughs> that's not great. I really like this uh, high school. It's still a lot of work I want to do too. A lot of sprucing up, but it, it's working fine for now. These are all operating normally. Let's have a look at our risk assessments and stuff like this. So, what well, have we got? Garbage. Everybody's all blue. Education. They're all red. But it is pretty far away. Maybe I should have a, a road that loops around, uh, like pretty much directly to the school. That would actually be a pretty smart idea, I think. Like going straight from the school or straight from this road, maybe. Uh, no, I think I could go wider, like from this road and join it up down here. That would probably be uh, a good idea. Our high school availability, our, our elementary school. We're actually, we need more elementary schools. Okay, that we should sort out one problem at a time, right? Roads, go away. Um, do I want it to be a larger road? No. No, I don't think I do. Uh, do I want trees down the side? I don't think so either. Uh, I want to turn that off before I do it. And that off. Uh, we're going to come off this road. Just a little straight road up here. I like curved roads. I don't like it when they're all perfectly straight. I find it really boring. I think that's much cooler. So that's a direct path now from the main housing estate that we've got at the moment all the way to the school. And our elementary school was in trouble. So we should, we could put more than one in it, the spot or we could just sort of make it a little bit bigger. Elementary school, 300 capacity, 300 capacity, high school, so they're both 300 capacity. What's this one? Modern high school, university, high school. So I've got two. I've got two elementary schools. I don't think I've got this one yet, do I? I've got that one, but I haven't got this type of, of one. Uh, if I could have this... If I could squeeze it in there, that would be nice. I think I can. Like that. Uh, it's driving through the road. Move it. Nope, move it. It clips into that house a little bit, but I sort of like that. It looks all like one building. And it's already filling up. We've got a smart city. It's going to be... 
my first city that I've ever built in City Skylines where everyone isn't as dumb as a bag of rocks. <laughs> All of my city, they've never wanted to do anything. Uh, health, care is great. All green, perfect. See, these, this line is green here and fades out really quick. I think that's how far the ambulances like to go. I, I don't think they like, like to go any further than that because they're lazy. Uh, there's two sick citizens, apparently. I don't know where. I can't see any. Any. But two's, two's really low. Average health is 54%. I mean, that's above 50%. That's got to be pretty decent, right? Wind, I don't care about. Traffic, pretty, apparently pretty busy here. It looks so busy there. Oh my god, look how busy it is. It's, that red colour is so worth its red colour. I mean, look at all the traffic coming off here. Liars. Ground pollution, yeah, we will get a lot of pollution from here. We're likely going to want to put a lot of trees around here to suck up the pollution from this uh, recycling plant, uh, but also to do noise pollution from the roads. Trees will block out noise pollution, yeah, like this, from the road. Uh, it looks like it's actually far enough away that it doesn't really seem to matter too much, which is a good thing, because these people aren't going to care about the noise pollution from the road. They don't care about that. They're not going to care at all about that. Uh, the fire hazard is extremely high because, like, we're in the middle of a woods, apparently. Uh, but it's not so bad. I mean, the fire hazard is at 84%. It's ridiculously high. But if I, I could place down, like, a million fire stations in there, and I don't think it would really make that much of a difference. Our crime. Detained criminals. Jail capacity at 20 11% crime rate is actually pretty high. I, on the last city, 12%, could not get it below 11. I don't think there was an achievement to get it down to 5. And I don't think I ever got it. i I done everything that I could. We spent ages trying to do it. And I couldn't get it below. So I think anything 11 or 12%, I'm going to say for the moment, is acceptable. 1 out of 10 people are like grave robbers in my in this city <laughs> they're smart though so they're not gonna get caught they got oh they're going to all the schools but they're just thieves they're just criminals uh, maybe I could do something about that what is this oh toll booth that could be cool somewhere police headquarters I mean if I could make this police station into something that looks pretty cool I wouldn't mind doing that let's get a little concrete path. I don't want a uh, snap. I don't want a, a dirt one. A little concrete path that goes up and preferably just neatly behind the back here. Hang on a minute. I can't put buildings on paths, can I? No. They need to be roads. Okay, not a problem. I shall have a nice treed road then. Oh, he's off. Go get him, boys. And you. I'm going to go see where they're going in a minute. So we'll have this coming up here. And I wanted to go around the back here. Yeah, look at the beautiful little uh, grass on either side. Like the trees down there. Uh, and then you're going to have to move, my friend. How do I move this? Oh, I don't want I don't want a stupid dot, do I? How do I get rid of this? <laughs> How do I get rid of this stupid give way? Go away. No. Good. Aha! Nailed it. I knew exactly what I was doing. That's probably not what's supposed to happen when I move that. I need to remove that. Sorry, power people. And put it in here. And put that to there. Okay, now I can get a larger police station behind here. Police station. Uh, 25, 25, 10, 10. So I want a larger one. I think I would like something more like that. So then we've got a helicopter. Yeah, yeah, I think... So we've gone from 10 police cars now to 35 
in total, which has not made a difference. Ten criminals detained already? What are they doing? Are you... Oh, he's off somewhere. Responding at the Cherry Residence. Huh? Go get them. I want you to speed up. No! Come back! Click! <laughs> Click. There we go. <laughs> go run, run, run. There's a blue car in the way. Why doesn't he put... There we go. And now he's stuck behind another police car that isn't responding. He's not pulling out the way for the poor policeman. Alright. Round the big roundabout. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turning off here. So they do come all the way out. There we go. Oh, he got him. What did he say? Returning to the station. Well, that was a quick arrest then. The guy pretty much gave himself in, didn't he? So that shows that they do actually respond all the way out here. It just takes them longer. <gasps> Crime rate, 6%. That guy that we just arrested was probably committing, apparently... Like, 5% of all, the, or half of all the crimes that this city had. We've just bagged ourselves a serial killer. <laughs> I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Alright, so, uh, what are people asking for? Commercial. Commercial seems to be popping up now. We've left it a little while. We've let them sort of evolve a little bit. Uh, commercial seems to be the, the big talk of today, though. Uh, down this side, we want to have a road opposite the police station that comes down here into a large car park quite a substantially large car park actually that's usually something like this and like this and there's car parks all around this place and then I need it's a shame you can't put shops just on paths you have to be there have to be roads uh, so we'll have it down here. And it's like its own very small commercial district. And that should be good. And then normal pedestrian paths now. Concrete ones, of course. Uh, chug. That come down onto this road. Bling! Yeah, that looks, ni that looks nice and neat. I'd like to have one coming through the middle here. If you do so, my... There, beautiful. I'll just leave it there for the moment because I don't know exactly where I want it. And I want one that goes down and joins up to that one. See, that's so cool, getting all those in. Uh, the commercial buildings themselves, we want to have here, here, and... About there because we want the car parks park the big ones the nice big car parks what is that just a building tile I don't get what that does I don't understand that nice big car park here one two oh that fits in there perfectly there 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 and then I can't because of the power line in the way I'll do it anyway uh, I don't like how all of these are all like jumbled in different directions though. Well those ones are alright. This one I don't like that. Oops. This one I don't like. I don't know why I clicked then. I ain't even gonna worry. Uh, if I mo I'll move that to there. And then we can get more of them in. I should be able to just copy that. Yeah. Oh but it doesn't snap to the grid then. Okay. Good to know. That one. That one. That one. And that one. This is the main parking if you want to walk about the city. Uh, this is like where you would where you would park. Uh, can I reach all the way over there? You could. Oh, you so can. You can if I do that. Now you're not complaining, are you? Oh, that's because it's a road. I did not know that was a road. I ap apologize to the game. But now you're still... Hey. There. So yeah, you got to cheat to do anything in this game. Okay, there we go. So we've got some power lines going over there. No one's complaining anymore. Uh, I want to get some more paths. We can hit play again now that we've got the power back. If we play it without 
the place having power that all they're going to do is complain and whine. Uh, get some more paths. Joining you up to there would be fantastic. Click. Yes. You. And they do complain. And there. Yes. And one over here. Like that. Now, around this area, I'd like to have uh, just mostly trees, but in a nice way. Maybe some fences fenced off around the back of the uh, commercial buildings here. So if we get ourselves a fence, what one would be good? Do we want a... Oops. Do we want a chain link fence? Or do we want an industrial fence? What's this one? Mid rocker. I have no idea what a mid rocker is. Oh. Oops, I didn't even click it. That's why. What is a mid rocker? No, that's. <laughs> it wouldn't let me put it down or anything. Uh. Oh, go away. There we go. What's this one? Oh, that's perfect for on the edge of a uh, river. Yeah? Not not for this kind of space. I think these ones would be pretty good. Uh, we'll turn it on fence mode. We want it up the side of this path. Around the edge of here. We don't want people going over that area, do we? Oh, you stupid game. Can I make that, like, just place it anyway? Maybe if I do that. I, that one. Now I should. Yeah, now you don't care, do you? You're not complaining anymore, are you? Huh? Punk. That word. That one. And I think I'll join it all the way up. No, I want to leave a little gap for, like, cars and stuff to be able to get behind the back of there. See, that looks pretty neat, though. And then I'll get a different one, just a slightly different one, maybe just a chain link fence here. And we'll have it as a little park. So what we'll do is I shall leave a little opening to get in and out at this zone, that zone. Leave a little gap. And along the back here, I'll leave a little gap on here as well. So there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a route on all four sides for people to get in. Stuff in that way. There we go. Uh, I sort of like those two trees where they are, uh, but if we can get something a little bit more park like, if I just take parking, a fountain would be nice. Ah, bouncy castle and stuff. Yes. Must be placed roadside. Are you kidding me? I mean, I don't need to place them roadside. I can place them down and then. Do the old cheaty. Oops. I just like placed two of them inside each other. Nope. You. Click it. Move it. Move it. Yeah, see, I can move it where I want now, but I don't think it's actually going to work. And it's a lot bigger than I thought as well. I mean, I'll put it in there anyway. If it works, then it works. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. Tree. And tree. See, it looks so cool in there with little fence and stuff around it, right? It's a really cool model. Is there anybody actually at it? I haven't got a clue. Uh, go away. Click off. Click off it. Hello? There we go. Click on it. No, no one's on it at the minute. It's just bouncing on it. So that's pretty cool to have in the middle, though. Uh, eventually, we won't need these power lines here. So I think I will put a fence around it now, then. Uh, or I could do, like, no, yeah, 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 no, fence idea. I like the fence idea. Fence. Uh, I don't want a chain link fence. I just want, a, like, a, a nice dark fence to come around here. It's like they're, they're building in there. It's, like, almost a construction site. It's, like, getting prepared to be a construction site like that there we go that makes the place look a little bit nicer need something around the edge here in real life that this is all surrounded with a lot of trees and a fence so i'll put in chain link fence that goes around the edge of these 
And then a couple of rows of trees would probably be nice. Uh, I'm going to just do it to there and then have some trees going down there. I don't need a fence going down here. I can put some bushes down there. This one. Trees. Bushes. Perfect little spot for some bushes. I'm going to put some flowers down there as well. Some white flowers. And that's a nice little collection. What about some orange ones on the other side? No, I don't like that. I like the yellow ones. The orange ones were too close. I know I could spread them out using the move it tool, but uh, it's it's good enough for me for the minute. And then we'll have some trees coming down here. I don't like those ones at the minute. Those ones are much better. And I want to have... I could use the tree brush, right? If I turn that off and that off, I can go back on single. There we go. I'll just get some nice trees going around here. I want them closer. Can we get them close? Closer. Closer. Dum, 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 dum. There we go. And you never want to stick with one tree. You always want to stick in at least two different types of trees. So you've got that, li that little bit of color change going in there. That's too short of a tree. These ones are usually good ones. If you can get the one that is the right size, that's better. If we get some of these in here. I have my auto save on so often. I have it on about every two minutes or so. It does like just stop the game for like a second or two. Uh, but I have it like that because mods can be very unpredictable. The last thing I want to do is just lose a bunch of progress because I couldn't be bothered to save it often enough. So having the auto save on just saves me hassle if something does go wrong. I've had a few crashes before uh, in testing. Uh, for no reason the game will just crash. And uh, when I try and place like a specific... Uh, item down. I don't know what I don't know what that uh, item is though. That's the problem. Um, if I knew what it was, I would have uninstalled it. Uh, but I can never remember what I was doing at the time that crashed the game, which is a little bit frustrating, right? Have you got water now? I mean, you should have. Why are you complaining? There you go. Shut up. Why a car park needs power and water? AJ will never know. All right. Looks like we've got a calling for everything but i'm way over time i didn't even realize we're calling for everything so next episode we're going to be working on industrial commercial and residential uh i think we'll probably be building more on this side now with the residential and slowly start bringing it all together if you guys enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe we shall see you in the next episode